Hey, it's almost Father's Day and I thought I'd share some really cool things on Etsy that I think would make some nice last minute Father's Day gifts. Now, none of these items are mine. I know a few of the sellers, but I don't know all of them. I do think the, all the items are real, so what they say they are, but of course I've never handled any of these items, so I can't speak to the condition or the shipping times of the seller. So you have to check them out, but these are some cool ideas, some things you should check out if you're looking for a last minute Father's Day gift. I don't actually know all these sellers, but this first seller I do know. None of these items are mine. Uh, if you want to check out some of my items for sale, I will link my Etsy shop and my eBay store, as well as my own website in the description of the video but here this first item my friend aaron has this this is a really cool thing i actually saw this in person because he he bought this uh, at a show i was at or he picked it up at a show i was at and he told me it wasn't for sale lo and gold he's got it on instagram so i'm not there or on uh, etsy so i'm going to give him a hard time for selling this without giving me a chance to buy it in person it's a really cool thing and uh really decorative and this will fill up some space in your house for sure this would be a cool thing i think any a lot of dads would love this um if your dad likes with the father in your life the husband or whatever likes kind of funky weird signs folky signs folky weird signs this is a good one to buy next up same seller he's got this cool hooked rug kind of thing perfect if you're into skiing so check that out my friend has these next two oyster tins He's from the Eastern Shore of Maryland. He is actually a crabber back in the day and now is a full-time antique dealer and he specializes in decoys and oyster tins, crab tins. So if you're into any of those things or the husband in your life is, or man in your life, father in your life is into any of those things, just check out his listings. This is a cool one and he actually, um, it's very reasonable because he knows what they're worth and he uh he doesn't try to oversell them because he tries to he tries to move them quickly so he's got this one the sailor girl one and he's got this one and this one is of course uh it's a pricey tin but this is a rare tin or a rare uncommon very uncommon tin and uh just in beautiful condition this is from a seller outside of philadelphia this is a really cool tin uh, not inexpensive by any stretch of the imagination, but man, that tin really pops. And from Cincinnati, that's a cool thing. I know this vendor via Instagram, but I've never actually met him in person. And these all start the vendors who I don't know. I have no idea who this person is, but this is a really cool ice fishing decoy. So not a lure, because it doesn't have the hooks. It is actually an ice fishing decoy. Vintage enough, I don't know that it's super old. It does have a little chip missing out of the uh, tail. If it was uh, perfect, I'd probably buy it to resell it because I think it's a very reasonable price. But for if you're a collector who doesn't mind a little bit of wear, this might be the one for you. This one is new. This is not old, but uh, God, this, I would not want to do the work to make one of these for $15. So that is a really cool thing. Uh, kind of a neat, neat piece. Again, I don't know these sellers. Not vintage, not antique, but what man in your life does not need soap? I have linked two of them for some reason. I don't know anything about these soaps. I've never used either of them, but they look like they'd be pretty cool. This is another thing I was thinking. If your man, husband, man, father in your life is a sports fan, pennants. There's a bunch of sports pennants. So you could just search by pennant in your favorite team or his favorite team, or click on these links below for this one. Very reasonable price, $15 for this one. This one's a little a little more vintage, a little more money, uh, $75. You could also search for pennants by location. You know, it's a good idea if you're here. I've just linked or found this one, but if you were looking for a certain location, maybe a favorite destination of theirs or where they were born or where they live, that might be a cool gift idea as well. Here we go. This is actually great. A mystery box of 1970 Sports Illustrated, five per box. So you don't know what you're getting. Who knows what? who's gonna be in the cover? but they might enjoy reading these and then only $25 is not a lot of money. You could also search for Sports Illustrated via uh, their favorite um, athlete maybe. Here I have one of Magic Johnson. It's actually a two issue lot from Magic Johnson. Here's a cool, I, you can't, I can't do this without finding some folk art. This is actually tempting for me to buy because this seems like a reasonable deal. $155, but look at that, that's a funky weird spring checkup so if you're uh, the father in your life is a doctor or perhaps hates doctors or is afraid of doctors this might be a cool little carving for them it's actually dated 1960 so that's really cool nice vintage piece there final piece another little carving only 45 dollars very reasonable relief carved so you could always search for carving with maybe their favorite favorite kind of thing if they're into birds or if they're into certain animals i for instance like beavers but you never know what kind of animal they like, or I don't know what kind of animal they like. But yeah, search for uh, search for an animal and link that and uh, find that for them. In the description, I have all the links for these. 
and links for my own store. So give them, give them a click and see what's going on. I, I, as I said, I don't know most of these sellers and I get, uh, I get nothing from the sellers for doing this. These were just a few cool items that I saw. I would, however, uh, get a small, tiny commission price of a cheap coffee if you bought one of these through my links. But again, I don't get anything from the sellers. I have really no skin in the game because none of these are mine. But they are, I think, cool, fun things at reasonable prices. I hope you liked that video. And if you want to follow my antiques journey, I'm a nomadic antiques dealer, meaning I move around from place to place. Typically, I do one to three month long stays in different parts of the country, buying antiques along the way, setting up at shows along the way, and of course, shipping every single day. Hey, thanks for watching. Peace.